Hey everyone! Today, we're talking about an amazing spacecraft called the Parker Solar Probe. This incredible machine has made history by being the first ever spacecraft to fly into the sun's atmosphere, known as the Corona. Now, the Corona is super hot, like, really hot. It reaches temperatures of about 1 million degrees Celsius. But don't worry, the Parker Solar Probe is built with some awesome technology that helps it survive in these extreme conditions. This spacecraft has a special heat shield made from carbon composite foam and an innovative cooling system. Thanks to this tech, the Parker Solar Probe not only survived but also made history. Launched in 2018, the Parker Solar Probe is designed to get really close to the sun. How close, you ask? It will come within about 6.9 million kilometers, or 4.3 million miles, from the sun center. That's super close. And get this, the Parker Solar Probe travels at speeds of up to 690,000 km per hour. That's about 0.064% of the speed of light. It's the fastest object ever made by humans. What makes this mission even cooler is that it's NASA's first spacecraft named after a living person. It's named after the famous physicist, Dr. Eugene Parker, who is known for his work on solar science. The idea for this mission goes way back to 1958, but it faced many delays because of money issues. Finally, after a big update, the Parker Solar Probe was launched and made history on October 29, 2018, when it got closer to the sun than any other spacecraft before it. Isn't that amazing? The Parker Solar Probe is helping us learn so much about the sun. Did you know that the Parker Solar Probe broke a record? It went closer to the sun than any spacecraft before it, beating the old record of 42.73 million kilometers set by the Helios 2 spacecraft in 1976. On December 6, 2022, the Parker Solar Probe had its 14th close encounter with the sun. This is part of 24 planned close approaches, with the goal of getting within 5.3 million miles of the sun's surface. During this close approach, the spacecraft zoomed along at a speed of 364,639 miles per hour. That's super fast. When a planet is closest to the sun, it's called perihelion. The word means, around the sun, in Greek. The opposite, when a planet is farthest from the sun, is called aphelion. In its previous encounter on September 5, 2022, the Parker Solar Probe flew through one of the most powerful solar eruptions ever recorded. As the sun gets closer to its peak activity, scientists expect even more exciting things to happen. Dr. Nor Ralphie, the project scientist for the Parker Solar Probe, says that each time the spacecraft gets close to the sun, it helps us learn more about how the sun works and how it affects life on Earth. To get a full picture of what's happening, other missions are working alongside the Parker Solar Probe. The European Space Agency's Solar Orbiter and NASA's Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory are watching the sun from different angles during these encounters. We're exploring a really cool question. How does the Parker Solar Probe not melt when it gets close to the sun? Let's find out. First, let's talk about the corona. This is the outer layer of the sun's atmosphere, and it's super interesting. The corona is made of plasma and stretches millions of kilometers into space. Now here's the crazy part, even though the corona is far from the sun's surface, it's actually much hotter. This has puzzled scientists for years because, according to science, heat should move from hot to cold, not the other way around. The Parker Solar Probe was designed to help solve this mystery. One big goal is to understand the difference between heat and temperature. Temperature tells us how fast particles are moving, while heat is all about the energy those particles have. In the corona, the particles are really energetic. They move fast and bump into each other a lot, which helps transfer heat. Even though there aren't many particles, their high energy keeps the temperature up. So, how does the Parker Solar Probe survive all this heat? It has a special protective system called the Thermal Protection System, or TPS for short. The TPS includes a heat shield made of carbon. This shield helps keep the probe safe from the extreme temperatures of the corona, allowing it to explore without melting. Isn't that amazing? The Parker Solar Probe is not just surviving but thriving while it studies the sun. Let's talk about the heat shield. It's like a superhero cape for the spacecraft. Made of special composite foam between two carbon plates, this shield is only 4.5 inches thick but can handle temperatures up to 1,650 degrees Celsius. Thanks to this shield, the probe can keep its own temperature at a comfy 30 degrees Celsius. The heat shield has seven smart sensors around its edges. These sensors can detect sunlight and tell the spacecraft's computer to adjust its position. This helps keep the probe safe from the sun's intense heat and radiation. The team also used special materials for the wiring. They suspended it in sapphire crystal tubes and used niobium wires, 
which can withstand super high temperatures. The Parker Solar Probe is very smart. It has four light sensors that can spot sunlight and quickly reposition itself to stay in the shadow of its heat shield. Since it takes about 8 minutes for signals to travel between the probe and Earth, it has to act on its own to stay safe. Not only is the Parker Solar Probe studying the Sun, but it also gets its power from it. The spacecraft has special solar panels called photovoltaic arrays that convert sunlight into energy. As the probe gets closer to the Sun, it needs to protect its solar panels from overheating. To do this, it has a unique cooling system that circulates a little water through the panels. The water absorbs heat and releases it into space, keeping everything cool. The Parker Solar Probe is on an exciting mission to gather tons of information about the Sun. By the end of its journey, it will send back data from just 6.16 million kilometers away from the Sun's surface, revealing secrets we've never seen before. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed learning about the Parker Solar Probe, make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos. See you next time.